Hello Aries, I'm hoping you guys are doing well. We're going to go ahead and do the March reading regarding the person that you have on your mind. So this is to find out how your person feels towards you, the action that they would like to take. We're looking at the energies of March, but this can be any time. How they view you, what are the blockages they are facing now, what they love best about you, Aries, what they're hoping for, what they don't like best about you, their true intentions, where are you mutually at, and the best possible outcome with the current energies. I've already uploaded the monthlies where I cover different areas of your life. So this is just a spread regarding your person. Keep in mind, these are pretty general. For those that are interested in the extended, we will see how you both mirror each other. The link is in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with your person. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. The Eight of Cups. It looks like someone is emotionally withdrawn. There's a lot of concealment. A lot of Piscean energy too. A lot of uncertainties. This Eight of Wands for the collective is driving me crazy. There's that need to say something that is not being said. All right. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. Judgment. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, very beautiful, the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Hierophant. Okay. All right, so we're going to clarify, of course, all of this. How they feel towards you. They feel like there's a chance with the Ace of Pentacles. There's this prosperity in a very practical way, but they're looking at something very prosperous, very grounded. Again, they believe that you guys have a chance when it comes um, to this connection. The way they're coming to, uh, towards you, the page of ones tells me that they want to um, communicate, very flirtatious. This may be, again, uh, a message through social media, someone that wants to be very youthful, excited, expect some type of action with this person, with the page of ones, talking, uh, flirting type of energy. Now, how do they view you? We have the judgment. So again, it's so interesting. We have the judgment and the wheel of fortune. So I, I keep thinking regarding the chance that they have. Judgment is all about rebirth, second chances. Uh, for the one here, there is a completely new relationship with the judgment that finally they can feel like I found my person. This is after someone has gone through a lot and there's that kind of rebirth. And that's how they view you. For others here, this may be that, again, they're waiting for forgiveness. They're waiting for finally, you know, especially if you are in separation, for finally for that moment of truth, that contact. And I'm saying this also because the blockages, it looks like something of waiting here with the Wheel of Fortune. It may be that there's a lot of cyclical situation, back and forth going. There's waiting uh, for fate type of, you know, to interfere, divine calling. This is the blockage. It's very much here kind of back and forth energy, waiting for change. There's stagnation going on. They love best about you, the connection that you guys have. This is what they love best about you. So again, this tells me that they really feel the connection and they really feel like you guys have a good chance. There's the union. The, the two of cups, Venus and Cancer, is two people that understand each other, emotionally especially. Very nurturing. It can be from friendship here, platonic friendship and more, but there's that kind of um, connection that you both can understand each other. And what they're hoping for is the queen of wands. So if this is you or this is a person that you are attracted to, again, they want here the passion. They want the desire, the attractiveness, energy. But I feel like it's just this union and you with the queen of wands that they're hoping for. Very, very beautiful connection. Now, what they don't like best about you, the high priestess, they, uh, this tells me again that there's elusive. Remember, we had the eight of cups before, giving us hints what's going on in the background. We had the moon, so there's some type of concealment, uncertainties, or things, again, that are not revealed. Uh, they may find you very much elusive. They may find that you're not opening up. I will see, but the high priestess, of course, there's that inner knowing that there, there's the, the desires, but they are not being expressed. 
the three of wands this kind of is um very much in sync with their hopes because we have the queen of wands and three of wands this is also aries energy uh their intentions again are on you they're expecting they're anticipating they're wanting for something to come in now for my cross watchers if you're watching probably this message is for you because um again you're watching not them the Ten of Wands is where you both are at. So there's a lot going on with the Ten of Wands if this is your mutual energy. As you can see, there's been a lot of heaviness, a lot of burden. You both may be feeling exhausted. This is the kind of breaking point. How much longer? What, what are you both holding, you know, where do you feel like this burden? It may be that you guys have had a lot of history and there's been a lot of going on, but you are at that finish line. Uh, the passion, of course, is here because it is a wand, and that's what they that's what they're hoping for. That's what they're anticipating for things finally to come in. Definitely, there's a second chance here with you guys. The hierophant again tells me that there's some type of commitment. The best possible outcome for you both with the hierophant again for others will be commitment and a promise. Very spiritual connection because we have the hierophant and the high priestess or the high priest and the high priestess together. So no doubt that there's this spiritual connection that you both have with one another. But also when we're talking about the hierophant, there's certain things, duties here, certain sometimes that we have to follow, whatever the law, whatever here when it comes to ethical or moral situation is saying basically have faith. Things that are supposed to happen will happen with the hierophant. Also in this situation to know that First and foremost, you guys are connecting spiritually with one another. We will clarify what the Hierophant is. Taurus energy for some of you if you're dealing with a Taurus. But we shall see. Feeling again with the three of wands here that someone is waiting for uh, things to come in. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles as feelings. One more. Okay, the Three of Cups. Definitely they want Page of Swords. The King of Pentacles is here. You can be the King of Pentacles, they can be, doesn't matter. Again, I feel like um, there is this kind of curiosity or wanting to send a message watching waiting but with the three of pentacles they were hoping for a chance uh, to reconcile uh, this is also very nurturing type of energy companionship remember the two of cups is what they like best about you so it's kind of a progress of two people going to the next level here enjoying each other opening up uh, giving it a chance to this relationship so their actions with the page of wands The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. So this is very progressive type of energy, very much improving. That the way that they want to come towards you, not only we have that kind of enthusiastic approach and wanting to know, but they want to learn more when it comes again to this relationship, invest, progress, talk about each other when it comes to, again, the goals that you both have, but they want to open up the door again to reconcile and talk even for what you guys are doing. Where are you for the ones that are in separation? Uh, what's going on? Even if it comes again to talking about um, improvement, skills, mastery, especially if some of you have a connection at work, but overall, they want more out, out of it. Even with the page of ones, they can be very it's a fire energy. One moment here, one moment it's gone. This tells me that actually it's being backed up by a lot of work, by a lot of effort. But overall, I feel like they want to talk about what you've been doing or when it comes to plans for the future together. All right, so let's see with the judgment. Some of you, again, if you have a connection when it comes to work, they feel like they want to help. They want to help. They want to push forward with uh, new beginnings, new excitement, and so on. Tell me about the judgment. Wow. After the chaos, there's a second chance. Mars, by the way, is your uh, ruler. 
So it does represent you and Scorpio. We have Pluto and Mars. This is intense. So again, of course, it's been an intense uh, situation for both of you because this is how they view you. Whatever the chaos, whatever the, the, the kind of, you know, tower moment in both of your life or you especially, um, Aries, they feel like there, there will be a second chance. There will be a rebirth. It may be, again, for some of you, they see you as the one here that kind of, um, I don't want to say is a savior, but that kind of brings them together. Whatever happened, whatever that chaos that has been going on, that's that's how they view you. You cannot handle, um, there's nothing you cannot handle type of situation. And um, there is new beginning, there's forgiveness, there's um, opportunities that are coming. But they know that you have that intensity type of energy and it's all about new beginnings with you, a new start. Tell me about the wheel. Why is this as an obstacle? This is total transformation. I'm thinking astrologically. Uh, for some of you here, man, that they view you like this. I'm a Scorpio, so to me, that's um, that's an honor to kind of go through all of this, the Tower moment, and come with a judgment um, in my mind. But they do view you as a very intense, strong personality type of energy. Let's see. Sorry about the... Let me see if there's more light. Okay. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. One more. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Wish Fulfillment with the Two of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this is a very, very stagnant because it's coming as a, the challenges, the blockages that they have. There's something about security with the Queen of Pentacles um, family. At times, this does come as the other person. There's another person involved, but it looks like there's no there's not been movement. It depends on the Queen of Pentacles, or again, with the wheel here, there's been other people that have been involved, and that's what the blockage is in this case. It may be because of a career move or establishment if you guys don't have. It can be when I say third parties in this situation, it can be a mother-in-law, it can be a friend, it can be many things. It does not have to be just uh, it can be family as well. But I feel like there's not been movement or things changed with the Queen of Pentacles where there were other priorities going on. All right, so this one needs to come, so I'll, I'll keep this because I was going to ask, what is the Two of Cups? So again, there's pleasure. There's um, We have Venus and Venus. Definitely attraction, unconditional love, uh, connection. Tell me about the Two of Cups here, please. One more. Wow, the King of Cups. Okay, again, this is such a beautiful connection. I'm getting a lot of uh, water element there, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But that's what they love. Again, it's there's an emotional bond. There's a connection. There's an understanding with both of you, especially soul-to-soul -soul understanding. And they love that. They may feel like you understand them perfectly. Tell me about the Queen of Wands as hopes. One more. Wow, two. Remember, the Hierophant is the best possible outcome. Someone, again, has walked away, maybe because of other situation here, as I mentioned, regarding vows, commitment, promises, higher education, uh, the Hierophant duties. It can be because of different uh, cultures and religions here. It's for the collective. But again, they're hoping for you. They're really hoping for you. Look at the moon coming here. The passion is there. This King of Pentacles is driving me crazy. The, uh, the kind of content, bliss, happily ever after. But it's it's being um, concealed. And I know, guys, some of these readings are redundant. But I guess the collective is going through this. That's why we keep, keep getting the same cards here. This Hierophant keeps coming and it's very important. Tell me about the High Priestess. This is what they don't like. One more. Okay, yeah, definitely there's a conflict. 
someone is being very elusive, it's not opening, there may be even resentment, not because, again, I know that there's been a tower moment, but resentment is because someone is not available or is not being very open, very receptive. There's a lot of um, secrets or holding back. Look, the Ace of Cups with the Three of Swords. Here we have overwhelming emotions. Here we have new love, new opportunities, and there's the heartbreak. So I keep getting that some of you are in separation or there's other things that have caused pain. Tell me about the Three of Wands. One more. The Page of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely with the page, they're waiting for some type of offer, some type of communication. That's what their intentions are. They want to talk to you. It's so interesting because the actions is the page of wands with the eight of pentacles and their intentions is the three of wands and the page of pentacles. Again, we have that earth and um, fire type of energy, which it's not easy with these two. There's a tension, there's a fr friction type of energy, but that's what they want. Their intention is to anticipate, wait for things to come in, wait for communication, any type of knowledge, uh, you know, to kind of move you guys to the next step. That's what their intentions. There's nothing here again that will worry you that this person does not have um, well intentions. This is a good, a good kind of combination. They want to talk. They want to plan for the future. They even, even if you guys start talking here about wanting to learn more, that heart to heart conversation, this is enough for this person right now. Tell me about the ten of wands. This is mutually where you both are at. One more. Oh, wow. I know that some of you have been with me for uh, some time and always I say the Seven of Swords um, with Aries. I get this with Cancer a lot too. Yeah, both of you, even if you're avoiding each other, you kind of are carrying each other all day, all the time. Uh, in your hearts. That's how I see the Seven of Swords. You you both are tired of this hiding, uh, avoiding, not opening up. You both are, but uh, I don't know what's going on, why you guys cannot move. For some of you, again, it may be because of other situation involved, influences that will make sense if that's the case. For others, we know that sometimes pride or fear of making the First move keeps us from moving forward. Tell me about the Hierophant. Only because this one is to turn out, out, look at them, but one more. Yeah, definitely holding back. Okay, so you see the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. Just making that first step where you both can plan, meet, collaborate, have some type of alliance. That's overall the Hierophant will though, again, whoever is in power here and whatever feels like they have to kind of pray, believe that what's what's going to happen uh, will happen in the end. But I keep getting that again, there's something here that is being treasured, is being held very close to the chest. And I feel like it's the belief that both of you guys have that one day, one time, you both are going to come together. This is for the ones in separation. For the ones that are thinking, again, regarding the commitment, there's certain things here that there's a risk taking, the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. What needs to be collaborated? What both of you need to kind of make that first step that finally can lead to the commitment, to the marriage? I think like that's, that's very important. And I feel like most of you here, guys, will have the chance uh, with the Hierophant to be together. This tells me that just have faith. Things are working um, for both of you guys where you will be together one day. But um, there's this risk-taking energy. There's the leap of faith that both of you have to take, especially the leap of faith with the Hierophant is very important. I really hope this resonates with you guys. For those that are in interested in the extended, we will see where the connection is and how you both feel towards each other. Thank you. Bye-bye.